We all know glass is transparent. So let's look at absorption over a broader range of the electromagnetic spectrum. Transparent glass should have an absorption spectrum that looks like either 1, 2, or 3. Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at an argument for each of the answers. A, transparent glass passes all visible wavelength and only absorbs above the UV. Or B, transparent glass must absorb some light in the visible region. Or C, transparent glass must absorb the entire visible region. Think about those alternatives and make another selection. The absorption spectrum of transparent glass is what we're talking about. And we're talking about a rather broad region of the electromagnetic spectrum, from ultraviolet wavelengths down to infrared wavelengths. And I've overlaid the common visible colored wavelengths in the center. So let's look at those three absorption spectra. Number one, absorbs strongly in the ultraviolet. Number two, absorbs strongly in the ultraviolet and some visible wavelengths. And option three absorbs ultraviolet visible wavelengths, looks like most of them, and terminates somewhere in the IR. So it also absorbs a little bit of infrared uh, wavelengths as well. But in order for the glass to be transparent, all visible wavelengths must pass through. Transparent glass will pass white light directly through it. You can see all colors through transparent glass. So all colors must pass through. So we have to choose one that has no absorption spectra in the visible range. That is option one. So the correct answer here is A.